Hey, what's up y'all? It's Cane Pole Willie. Got the Cane Pole out here doing some creek fishing. Got a little spot, it's a tiny little creek. Super dry just cause it's end of summer and hadn't had rain in forever. But I was out here yesterday, or not yesterday, a couple days ago and found, it's a tiny little creek. Wasn't expecting too many fish to be in here, but I found one hole where it seems like there's some bass. Saw some large mouth tails running away from me. So anyway, brought some night crawlers back here. Let's we'll see if we can get some fish. I got my earthworms here, some Canadian night crawlers, my little vintage worm container on a belt. Got my cane pole down here. Got some 10 pound line on it with a <clears throat> one eye circle hook. Let's get to work. Okay, this is the start of the pool. You can see it kind of gets deeper as it goes and slows down. Oh, what the heck is that? Yo, that was a, that's a fox. No way, I don't know if y'all saw that. Probably not really gonna pick up on the GoPro, but a fox was sleeping right over here. Dude, that is incredible. A big, a lot of times you see those fox and they're real skinny. But that fox is actually pretty big. Now that's awesome. <laughs> Gosh. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's why you come on these fishing trips, man. I just get you out here. No telling what you're going to find. But anyway. Big tree right here. Big, beautiful, mossy tree. I'm thinking we're going to have some bass hunkered down in here. We're going to throw this worm in here. Hopefully there's not too many little bluegill trying to snatch up the worm before the bass can get it, but we're going to give it a shot, sling some worms in there, see if we can pull one out. Got some little thumps. Oh, got a fish. <laughs> First fish. Little bluegill. That's what I figure is mostly in this pool. But uh, we're gonna keep throwing it out there until we get the big guys. Got one little bluegill on the first worm. Let's throw in worm number two. Oh yeah, I got a fish on. What we got? Oh heck yeah. First bass. <laughs> Second worm. Heck yeah. Not a huge one. We're on the large mouth though. That's awesome man. Second worm. Good bass. Man, I saw some big ones in there the other day when I was fishing here. Let's see if we can get some big ones. Oh, got a bass. Not a huge one. Not the one I was going for, but hey, not too bad. Let's get him up here. Oh, pretty little large mouth. Not too bad for just sitting here Indian style next to the creek. <laughs> chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. There we go. Hey, pretty little bass there. Let's let him go easily. Try and not spook the pool too bad. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 
Oh, fish on. Oh, feels like a really good shell cracker. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Going for the bass in there and get a really good panfish. Heck yeah. Got the red right here like a shell cracker, but could be a bluegill shell cracker hybrid. I'm not sure. Let's let him go easy. Oh, heck yeah, big bass on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is the one I've been wanting right here. Man, big old bass. Oh, heck yeah. Looky there. <laughs> heck yeah, good bass. Man, I knew this tree was my spot right here. I walked down there just pretty much spooking them all. I had to hide in this grass before I could get one. Dude, that was a funny one. I, w I had a little fish and he'd run off and got me tangled up in some, uh, in a branch down there. And then as I was tangled up trying to rip the line out, this guy got on. That's incredible, man. Let's see if we can get this hook out of him. There we go. Heck yeah, great bass for this little creek. Heck yeah, pulled a nice size bass out of there. Man, I've been seeing them swim around. It's been real tough to get one. They've been spooked, but finally got a good one. All right, let's let this guy go. Heck yeah, man. Right from under that little tree right there. It's one of my favorite spots, man, this is awesome. Oh, got another one. Oh, he's running good. I think we got a little small bass. Fighting good though. All right, another large mouth. This guy's not huge. Another bass though. Let's let him go. Oh, fish on. Feels like a little drum. Oh no, what we got here? Okay, okay. Good, bright color bluegill. That's awesome. Another little bass. Oh, no, shell cracker. That's a full shell cracker, no hybrid there. Let's let him go. Oh, heck yeah. Pretty good bass on there. Heck yeah. <laughs> About to a little bit smaller than that last one, maybe. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Good little jump. Man, this boy's fighting hard. Heck yeah. See if we can get him up here. Flip him up. Heck 
Heck yeah, another good bass. Man, that one was really good for this creek. Two good sized bass out of here. Heck yeah, not bad at all. Not my biggest bass, but man, great for this creek. Let this guy go. Off into the abyss. All right, y'all, it's a pretty good day of fishing out here. Managed to pull in a couple bass and some okay panfish. But anyway, man, these are the trips I like doing. This is like just a couple miles from my house. Real easy trip. Nothing to it, man. Just slinging some worms in there on the cane pole. I'd seen the bass in here a couple days ago, so this is a spot I came back to. I knew they were in here. Just a matter of finding them and not spooking them. If you'll notice, man, a lot of those, uh, a lot of the fish I was hiding behind something are super low on these clear creeks like this when it's in the summer. Man, you really got to stay hidden with a cane pole. You don't have a ton of range, so pretty much any time you can sneak around, it's going to be in your best bet. Anyway, appreciate you guys tuning in. We're going to have a bunch more videos coming this way when the rest of summer, rest of fall. Anyway, man, keep tuning in. We're going to get some more fish. Peace.